Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Started a little, little early. Hey, how are y'all? My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be doing a three minute devotion. I try to do these Monday through Friday to get uploaded to YouTube on my YouTube channel. A lot of devotional stuff there. Multiple books. Uh, a lot of devotional books. Uh, Wild at Heart. You have to check it out for yourself. The entire Bible is on there. So if you ever need a Bible scripture, Bible verse, Bible story, it's on there. It's pretty awesome to listen to. But uh, yep. So this would be three minute devotion. I'm Jeremy. Stormy is here. Um, it is titled "Empty Jars." It is from uh, Isaiah sixty four eight. All right. Hope everything went well for you today. That uh, you were able to serve people, love people. Uh, be the light wherever you are at. Use your gifts and the talents well. All right, cool. And that uh, you're on fire. You're on fire for people and life and peace. And uh, the peace train, right? Peace. Yeah, the freedoms that we have, the freedoms that aren't free, uh, the peace that we have that is awesome. Awesome compared to other places in our country and other places in our world. Uh, so don't take that for granted. It can be taken away from you. We're being tested with that a little bit now. But for some of us, we still have so much peace and joy, and we get to uh, see all the peace and wonderful things that are closer to us, if you will, without going out and spending a bunch of money, because everything you needed is provided for you without going and exchanging a bunch of money for things or going very far. A lot of times you might hear that people go on vacations, and uh, they don't go so well. And when you could have really just did a staycation or just stayed within 100 miles of your home, uh, and it might have went better and you might have saved a lot of money. Sometimes people just go to say that I did that. But uh, mine not actually went well. <laughs> you might have been better just uh, hanging out with your friends. Totally time off, hanging out with your friends, doing what you love without any stress or pressures. Staying with your dogs, cats, and kids. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Three minute devotion. We're staying focused tonight because it is about staying focused on God. Father God, His Son Jesus, what they did for us, what Jesus did for us on the cross. Uh, yep, and now the plan and purpose, the will that He has for our life now. So without being totally focused, you won't know what that is. Uh, so yeah, and how to know what that is better is being in relationship with God through the Word of God, through devotions, through being in the body of Christ, through worship and praise. God. All right. So cool. Let's see. Oh, all that noises, right? All right. All eyes are upon you was yesterday. That was awesome. It's about working hard wherever you're at. You're doing it to glorify God. Tonight is titled Empty Jars. Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. Isaiah 64, 8. It's a natural thing to think you are the reason you exist. It's the story of human history once mankind did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God. It's the story of human history once mankind did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God. Romans 1 28. It's an ignorance that has become part of humanity's DNA. Man was designed to be filled. A potter makes vessels empty for a purpose. That design feature is what drives man. But it's a vain pursuit without God, as King Solomon, who tested everything to fill his void, declared meaningless, meaningless, everything is meaningless. Ecclesiastes 12, 8. Oh man, I remember that. I remember Real Life Church last year. Uh, 2019 was last year. <laughs> they went over that. Oh man, when they were in Ecclesiastes about how what Solomon says. Solomon had everything. Everything. Power and treasures and people. And still, he said it's all meaningless. Uh, I don't know if I'd go that far, but that was King Solomon. Pretty excellent. Ah, that was awesome. Maybe you can find it on Real Life's channel, YouTube channel, but uh Meaningless, meaningless, everything is meaningless, Ecclesiastes twelve eight. The flesh in the world promise to fill the emptiness inside, but they will always leave you empty. 
Even good things, apart from God, leave you unfulfilled. At best, the life of a good, successful, decent man is a life of distractions, if done without purpose. Only in God, God your potter, will you find the purpose you were designed for. <laughs> Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. Isaiah 64, 8. Father, you designed me down to the tiniest details in my DNA helix. You drew up the living blueprint of, for my body and mind and formed me. I am in all of you, O oh God. <laughs> Empty jars. Oh, man. Let's see. What's that bring to mind? A topic that's been, um, let's see, voting. Voting's a huge thing. The presidential race. They're both racing a one-mile race in Boston without Max on, without mask on, and whoever wins the one-mile race wins the presidency. Isn't that how it works? It's the presidential race. I race them for one mile. Whoever has better cardiovascular health and speed should be president. <laughs> no. So that's. If God created us, all of us down to the tiniest DNA, right? Think about that. So, so we get into, um, I don't get into politics too much. I get into a lot of religion, though, don't I? I get more into relationship. Uh, Jesus Christ, Father God, disciples, apostles, prophets, stuff like that. Uh, DNA, the tiniest part. So abortion, big deal, right? You get pregnant, have the baby. No matter how you get pregnant, I mean, there are some really, really bad things that happen. Things that I can't even fathom and think of that are happening right now. Uh, if you, you can look up statistics on your own about um, New York, what happens in New York uh, with babies. and uh, Babies of a certain um, culture or nationality or descent, if you will. Uh, look that up on your own, but God created them. You know how hard a sperm has got to swim to make it to that egg? It's craziness. If it's God's will to have a baby uh, and impregnate somebody, that sperm's got to work its butt off. One sperm makes it to the egg. Sometimes two or three. I guess that's what twins are and all that. But uh, God created them. And as soon as there is a fetus in there, that is life. And if you kill it, that is murder, right? That is killing uh, a baby, right? So uh, that's one point of view, but there's other people that think that no, it's okay. Abortion's okay because this person didn't want to have a baby or they were a victim of a crime, but uh, God created it. Uh, it. None of that could happen without God. So that's a big deal, right? That's a big deal. Um, what else is a big deal right now that's been put on my heart? Oh, gay marriage, stuff like that. So you got to figure out who you support, what you support, all right? Are you okay with uh, two women or two men getting married or uh, doing what they do behind closed doors, yet they uh, they teach your kids every day or they hang around with your kids or they have businesses that your families go into uh, or they raise kids and they those kids go to school and they're your students and then they teach those kids that it's okay to do that and this and sin and stuff like that. So those are things that you kind of got to gotta learn about to where we critically think on our own and we have our own common sense we don't look at what the news says about it we see what god says about it and god created all things and if he calls things sinful or evil or demonic or from the devil um yeah so pretty cool huh? but the big deal is that we are empty jars god has a plan and purpose for our life and we have to fulfill that all right, and and we won't ever feel right if we're off of purpose or we do something without God. There's some uh, kind of cool things that are of the flesh, kind of cool, but still, when you're in in Christ, Holy Spirit, they still do not fulfill. Some great, I've had some great adventures doing some great things that probably desire my heart, but there's sometimes I've done them alone. And that's not as fun, even though you're doing something on um, really fast cars, or really fast boats, and really cool locations, or really cool airplanes, or helicopters, and really cool locations, but it still wasn't right. It was cool, yeah, but you know, when I look back, I would have rather been doing it 
with a group of people, I would have really been rather worshiping and praising God and being obedient to what he wanted. But maybe that's what he wanted me to do at that time because I was witnessing to this person, my flight instructors or the person I was uh, on the boat with or driving the cars with uh, or talking mechanics with or tuning cars or installing parts or disassembling this, right? Cool. All those are desires in my heart and they're kind of giftings too. I'm pretty good at some of that type of stuff or athletic type stuff. Uh, we're obedient to God. He puts us right where we need to be and he puts the people in our life that we need to reach. Uh, so it's pretty cool. It does work out. So the big take home is, Father, you designed me down to the tiniest details in my DNA helix. You drew up the living blueprint for my body and mind and formed me. I am in awe of you, O oh God. And hmm, the flesh and the world promise to fill the emptiness inside, but they will always leave you empty. I think the biggest deal with flesh right now, since we're in a pandemic, since, uh, let's see, Disney stock just went up like $10 yesterday and did pretty good today, too. Disney's only open to the United States. That's it to the people there. And uh, it's closed off to any international, totally. But their big thing that they have now is they have their streaming uh, streaming app, I guess you would say. Uh, just like Netflix would be or kind of YouTube would be. They have Disney Plus. So we're like, shut up, because there's so many more subscribers. They're over, I don't know, millions of subscribers now. Um, and the movie Mulan's coming out. That should be very exciting. But um, people watching just sitting and vegging out, watching things they should not watch is a big deal. And it does take you away from God's plan and purpose in some cases. If something is not beneficial to you or glorifying God and His kingdom, be very careful with that. See, God, is there something you want me to be doing right now that I'm not doing? Um, even though I do this, I want to read the Word of God more. I do share a lot on YouTube. I read a lot. But I just want to... Like in the beginning when I was first saved, just lay on the couch and just read. Read the New Testament and just be blown away again. Just reread John and reread Matthew and just be like, whoa, crazy. And it puts you back on fire and gets you um, back in focus on why you're doing what you do. Uh, so every day remember why you're doing what you do. It's uh, what God created you to do. He created you from the tiniest little DNA and you've grown into this now. Uh, so he's got a plan and purpose for your life. The only way to figure it out is being in a close relationship with him through, through prayer, through reading of the scriptures, being in the body of Christ, through worship and praising him, through gratitude, thanking him, and being in awe of him, and then going out there into the world and serving and loving people telling them the gospel and your unique way that the Holy Spirit puts on your heart and being bold and not standing up for evil demonic things around you. Super important. All right, don't let anything bad happen. Uh, but uh, yeah, be in the Word of God. You'll learn more about that there. But the biggest thing right now that you can do, the easiest thing that you can do is pray. Talk to your Heavenly Father. All right, talk to Jesus. Talk to Father God. Tell him what's on your mind and tell him what you want. You have not because you ask not. All right? Gain wisdom, gain insight, gain knowledge at any cost. All right? It's cool. Love you guys. Stay in the Word of God. Stay focused. All right? Use common sense, critical thinking skills. All right? Think on your own what you really think about it. Don't get lazy up here. All right? And don't get lazy in your physical abilities because you need to work hard. Maybe smarter. You need to be faster. You need to be stronger. <sighs> All right. Then that helps you to stand out and glorify God. Um, yeah. So it's good. good. Love you all. See you. Bye.